I want to, want to welcome you to Foundation Ministries um, Worldwide um, Prayer Night. And we're just going to start praying right now in, in, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We worship you, Lord God. We give you praise, Lord God. For you alone are worthy of all praise. You alone are worthy of all glory, Lord God. So I give you thanks, O Lord God. For you alone deserve all the glory. You alone, O Lord God, deserve all the honor, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. I give you praise, Father God. For you alone are worthy, Lord God. Worship your name, O oh Lord God. We give you praise, O oh Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord God. We magnify your name, O oh Lord God, for you alone are worthy, Lord God, of all praise. You alone deserve the glory, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Lord God. We give you glory, Lord God. We give you honor, Lord God. Oh, yeah, da, 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 Magnify your name, O Lord God. We worship you, Father. We thank you, Father. We ask, O Lord God, you forgive us of our sins, O Lord God. Any sins, O God, we commit, O Lord God. We pray you wash us, O Lord God. You cleanse us, O Lord God. Wash away, O God, any sin, O Lord God. Wash us as white as snow, O Lord God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit tonight, O Lord God. We give you praise, O God. O for you alone, O God, deserve all the honor, O God. You deserve all the praise, O God. I magnify your name, O God. I thank you, Lord. I worship you, O God. O in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Tonight, I'm just going to share a little bit first before we go into prayer. And we're going, we're going to be praying tonight um, that we be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, like the prayer point tonight will be about the Holy Spirit. Amen. And um, in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says, But ye shall, but ye shall receive power 
after after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you and ye shall be my witnesses unto me both in, Jeru in Jerusalem and in all Judea and, and in Samaria and unto the utmost parts of the earth. Amen. 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 See, without the Holy Spirit we can't do anything. Amen. That's why, that's why it says, ye, but, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Amen. So tonight, tonight before we do anything, we're going to pray that we be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because we can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. So Father God, we come before you, Lord God. And I ask, O oh Lord God, you will fill us, Lord God, with your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord God. Father, we pray, my God, that we be filled with the Holy Spirit from the top of our heads, O oh Lord God, to the tips of our toes, O oh Lord God. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will fall upon me, Lord God, tonight, Lord God. That you will fill us, O oh Lord God, so that, Lord God, that you can be, Lord God, so your work can be done, O oh Lord God, because we can't do anything without you, Lord God. Oh, ko ya da 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 shia. Oh, ya da 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 shiki ya da 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 shia. Oh, ya da 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 shiki ya da 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 shia. Ko ya da 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 shiki ya da 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 shia. Magnify your name, O Lord God. We praise your name, O Lord God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. One um one point I have that the Holy Spirit causes is salvation. Amen. And if we go to John, John chapter 16, verse 8 to 9. John chapter 16 and verse 8 to 9. Amen. Hallelujah. Sorry, no. Technology. <laughs> John chapter 16 and verse 8 to 9. And the, yeah. and the word of God reads, when, when he comes, he will prove the world to be, to be in wrong about sin and righteousness. And judgment about sin because people do not believe in me amen if we go to the King James version that was the NIV version if we go to the King James version it reads amen, amen. verse 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 8 8 9 it reads and when and when he comes he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe amen we need to it's the holy spirit that convicts that convicts us of sin amen and that's why that's why like um, it takes it's the holy spirit that brings us salvation I, i've written here the holy spirit is the lord is the Lord of the harvest. It is the Holy Spirit that convicts sinners of their sin. Without the Holy Spirit, without the Holy Spirit, one cannot be born again. The Holy Spirit is the author of salvation. Amen. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the author of salvation. It's the Holy Spirit that convicts people of their sin. You know, there's many times when we go out and we're sharing, we're sharing, we're sharing about um, the salvation message, and if we go out, from, uh, if we go out without having the Holy Spirit, it, it 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 makes no impact into the lives of the sinner, because it's not us that convicts people of sin, but it's the Holy Spirit. Amen. And number two, the Holy Spirit brings godliness. Amen. And it says, I've written here. The Holy Spirit enables enables us to live a holy and righteous life. Amen. Just as he convicts sinners of their sin, he also convicts convicts believers of their righteousness. And we can find that in John chapter six in the same thing, John sixteen, verse eight to nine. The Holy Spirit helps us 
to serve God in, in words and in deeds. You cannot live right before God by your own human strength. The arm of the flesh will always fail you. Amen. And we see that like anytime we try to do anything in the flesh, we, we will always fail. Amen. And then we'll always fail you. We'll, we'll always fail us. But, but we must constantly depend on the Holy Spirit to live a godly life. Amen. And we have to remember, it is not by, it is not by the power, nor by might, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. Amen. You know, it's, it, it's no longer by our power, it's no longer by our might, but it's by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we're going to pray. Like, the first one I'm going to lift up is pray for pray for those that are sinners that the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit will convict them amen of their sin amen I'm going to pray for salvation amen Father God we come before you Lord God and we pray my God for those Lord God that are still trapped in their sin oh Lord God we pray my God for their salvation Lord God we pray that you, hold it, that you send your Holy Spirit Lord God Lord God, to convict them, Lord God, of their sin, Lord God. We know we can share them, Lord God, the gospel message, Lord God, and the truth, Lord God, of what your Son has done upon the cross, Lord God. But it's your, your spirit, Lord God, that does convicting, Lord God. So, Lord God, we pray, my God, for those, Lord God, that are sinners, Lord God, out there in the world, Lord God, that do not know you yet, Lord God. We pray, send your Holy Spirit, Lord God, to convict them, Lord God. Our loved ones, oh, Lord God, that are still in sin, Lord God, that don't have a a relationship with you, Lord God. We pray, my God, you will convict them, Lord God. There is nothing, Lord God, that we can say, Lord God, that can change, Lord God, the way that they live, Lord God. But it's your Holy Spirit, Lord God, that can change them, Lord God. We pray, my God, for their salvation, Lord God. Our brothers, Lord God, our sisters, oh Lord God, our aunties, oh God, our uncles, oh Lord God, our co-workers, oh God, our friends, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, we pray, my God, for our cousins, oh Lord God. Convict them, Lord God. Of their sins, oh Lord God. So, Lord God, they can come to heaven, Lord God, that they will find salvation, Lord God, through your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we pray, my God, that you will move, Lord God. Send your Holy Spirit, oh Lord God, at this time, Lord God, to convict them, oh Lord God. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Oh, Lord God, we pray, my God, for, Lord God, for ourselves, oh, Lord God, to have a relationship with you, Lord God. We pray, my God, that you, Lord God, will bring God in us, Lord God, that we will be godly people, Lord God, godly men, Lord God, godly women, oh, Lord God, that you, Lord God, will help us, oh, Lord God, to depend upon you, Lord God, that we will not, Lord God, oh, Lord God, do anything, Lord God, without your Holy Spirit, oh, Lord God, that we will not be led, Lord God, in the flesh, Lord God, but, Lord God, we will be directed, Lord God, by your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Help us, O Lord God, to, to not rely, Lord God, on our own power, Lord God, upon our own strength, O Lord God, but upon your Holy Spirit, O Lord God. We pray, my God, move, O Lord God. O Lord God, shiki adarashia, i adarashiki adarashia. Go, let your Holy Spirit fall upon us, O God. Let us, O God, be directed, O God, by your Holy Spirit, O God. Cause us, O God, to be led by your Spirit, O Lord God. We worship you, Lord God. We give you praise, O Lord God. We give you glory. You give you honor, Lord God. In Jesus' name we have praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If we go to uh, Mark, Mark chapter 16. Amen. Mark chapter 16. And in verse... Mark 16 and in verse 17, 17 to 18. Mark 16, 17 to 18. Amen. Yeah. We, let's start from verse 15 actually and he said to them go into all the world 
and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, for he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow them who believe. In my name, sorry, in my in my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will take up serpents, and and if they drink anything deadly, it it will be it it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Amen. 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 See, this is the promise that God has given us. Amen. You know, and it's called the uh, like it's it's it's, it's these powers are this anointing that's upon our life is given by the Holy Spirit, and this cannot be done without the Holy. Like people that are sick cannot be healed without the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you know, and like I've written here that. Um, we command the supernatural through the Holy Spirit inside us. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can, we can heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. We, have control, we, we can control events from the realm of the Spirit through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. See. Amen. The, this power that we've been given has been given is been given given to us by God through the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then the fourth point is, through the Holy Spirit, prayers are answered. Amen. Um, answer prayers. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray. And in Romans Romans eight twenty six. Romans chapter eight twenty six and um, to twenty seven. Amen. Romans chapter 8, 26 to 27. Likewise, the Spirit also helps, helps in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray, what we should pray as we ought. But the Spirit helps make intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows, knows what the mind of the Spirit is because he makes intercession for, for the saints according, according to the will of God. Amen. 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 There's many times, me personally myself, when we're praying, sometimes I don't know what to pray for. So that's why a lot of the times we pray in the Spirit when we pray in tongues. You know, because the Holy Spirit knows what to ask for. Sometimes, when we don't know how, when we don't know what to pray for, the Holy Spirit knows what to pray for. Amen. So that's why sometimes when we pray in tongues, it's the Holy Spirit speaking, speaking to the Father. You know, and sometimes the tongues when we're praying in tongues, like it confuses the enemy. Like I've heard um, Pastor Marie preach sometimes in church. That when we pray in tongues, the reason why we pray in tongues is because it confuses the enemy. Because the enemy doesn't know the language, the language of heaven. Amen. So, the first thing, the first thing we're going to pray for, is like what I says, is there is that uh, we pray like those of us that don't have the gift of healing, we pray that God would give us the gift of healing, though because that gift of healing, when we're praying for people, it will cause people. People that are sick to to be to be well, you know, and that power that the Holy Spirit can give us the power to pray for people that are dead, and that and that would bring people back to life. You no know, people, not just physical dead, but also spiritual dead, because it's people that sometimes they can be spiritually dead, you know, and it can be the only you know, the Holy Spirit is the only one that can bring them back to life. Amen. So. The first thing we're going to pray for, pray for, is that supernatural gift through the Holy Spirit. You know, the gift of healing, healing for the sick, the the gift that that will cause people to be raised from the dead, the gift that will cause people, that that will cause devils to be cast out. Amen. So, Father God, we come before you, Lord God. 
We pray, my God, for those, Lord God, that don't have the gift of healing, Lord God. We pray, my God, through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, that you would give them the gift, Lord God, of healing, Lord God. That they will believe, oh Lord God, that when they pray for the sick, Lord God, the sick, Lord God, will be healed, oh Lord God. That their faith will be strong, oh Lord God, for the sick, Lord God, to be healed, Lord God. We come before you, Lord God, and we pray, my God, fill us, Lord God, with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. As we are praying, Lord God, for the sick, Lord, Lord God, that we will believe, oh Lord God, that the, that the sick person that we're praying for, Lord God, will be healed, Lord God, without any doubt, oh Lord God, because it's not us, oh Lord God, but it's the Holy Spirit, it's the power, Lord God, that is within us, oh God. Give us that gift of healing, Lord God, and we pray, my God, for those, oh God, that are spiritually dead, oh Lord God, that you will raise them up, oh Lord God. Raise up, Lord God, those that are spiritually dead, Lord God. Raise them up, Lord God. Give them the spirit of life, oh Lord God, we pray, my God, which is your Holy Spirit, oh Lord God. And we pray, my God, for those that are sick, oh Lord God, that you will hear them, Lord God, through your Holy Spirit, oh God. We pray, my God. Oh Lord God, we pray, my God, for that supernatural gift, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, that will give us the power, Lord God, to cast out, Lord God, those that are demon possessed, Lord God. Oh Lord God, those that have the, have the devil, Lord God. We pray, my God. Oh Lord God, the demon possessed, Lord God, will be set free, Lord God, that you will deliver them, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, those are controlled, Lord God, by spiritual, Lord God, witchcraft, oh Lord God, that you will set them free, Lord God, that you will deliver them, Lord God, through your Holy Spirit, oh Lord God. We pray, my God, to fill us, Lord God, with that spirit, oh God. Oh Lord God, the gift of healing, Lord God. Oh Lord God, the, the gift, Lord God. Oh Lord God, who you are in Shia, you are in a shiki, you are in a shia. No, you are in a shiki, you are in Oh, look at night, pray, my God. Oh, Lord God, that you, Lord God, you will help us, though, Lord God. When we find a heart to pray, my God, that we will pray in the spiritual, Lord God. Because we know, Lord God, we will be praying the spiritual, Lord God. It's the Holy Spirit, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, that is praying, oh, Lord God. That is causing us, Lord God, to cry out to you in heaven, oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we pray, my God, for those, Lord God, that don't have to give the tongues, oh God. I pray tonight, oh Lord God, that they will get to get the tongues, oh God. So, Lord God, that you, Lord God, that, they, that when they don't know, Lord God, what to pray, my God, that they were praying the spiritual, Lord God. Oh, yeah, that is Shia. 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 Magnify your name, oh Lord God. We give you praise, oh God. We give you glory, oh God. We worship you, Lord God. Worship your name, O Lord God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. If we go to um, John chapter 14, verse 26. Amen. John 14 and verse 26. Amen. I've, I, I actually forgot to say welcome everybody to Monday Monday night's prayer line. Amen. No Amen. No I apologize. Welcome everybody. All the, the the apostles, all the pastors, all the ministers. Welcome. Amen. I, Amen. John chapter fourteen and verse twenty six. Amen. Actually, let's read verse, verse 20, from verse, verse 25 and verse 26. These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring, bring to your remembrance all things that I have said to you. Amen. 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 I know many of us have a blessed memory at times, amen? And I'm one of those people that have a blessed memory. No, but thank God for the Holy Spirit, because it's the Holy Spirit that causes us to remember things, amen? 
Because sometimes there's things that we cannot remember sometimes. So it's the Holy Spirit that will cause us to remember. Amen. You know, and this is why we need the Holy Spirit. It is so important because Jesus says he is going to send us the Holy Spirit. Like I've written down here at number for, for number five is direction. It's the Holy Spirit that gives us direction. Amen. I've written here, it is the voice of the Spirit in us that gives us direction. The Holy Spirit is our helper. As a, as a believer get, gets to know the person of the Holy Spirit, he will guide you and teach you, teach you all things you need to know. Amen. It's the Holy Spirit, and this is why it's so important for us to have the Holy Spirit, because it's the Holy Spirit that teaches us. And like it says here, the Holy Spirit is our helper. As a believer, as a believer, get to know the person of the Holy Spirit. We have to get to know the Holy Spirit. No, because sometimes, sometimes as, like as we pray, like sometimes even myself, I fall into this as well. That sometimes we forget that the Holy Spirit is a pa is is part of the Trinity, like it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, He's part of the Trinity. And sometimes when we pray, sometimes we forget to pray to the Holy Spirit because the three are one: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. You know, and that's why when we pray, we have to be praying in the Spirit. Look, it's very very important that we get to have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit so that's uh, that's why it says to get to know the person of the Holy Spirit amen amen so it's getting to know the Holy Spirit you know and it's so so important that we know the Holy Spirit especially in this day and age you know because it's the Holy Spirit that will direct us you know in everything that, in everything that we go through in life it's the Holy Spirit that directs us when we want to make important decisions for our lives it's the Holy Spirit that would direct us, Amen. So we're going to pray that we pray, the prayer that we're going to pray is that we that we depend upon the Holy Spirit for direction, and that in that the Holy Spirit will help us make those important decisions that we that we need to make, and like and and even for the the way the world is going right now, that the Holy Spirit will will um, give direction to our leaders, you know. That will give direction to our go the government bodies of Ireland and the government bodies of the world. That the Holy Spirit will direct them. Amen. So, Father God, we come before you, Lord God. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will direct us in every decision that we make in our lives. Well, I pray, my God, that you will help us, O Lord God, to get direction from you, Lord God, in important decisions that we make, O Lord God. That we will not make decisions in our life, Lord God, without making you number one first, Lord God, without talking to you, Lord God. The way we talk to our husbands, O Lord God, the way we talk to our wives, O Lord God, to make decisions, O Lord God, that's the way we should be talking to you, Lord God. So we pray, my God, we will make an important decisions, Lord God, that we will sit down, Lord God, as a couple, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, and talk to you, Lord God, first, oh, Lord God, that we will make you number one, oh, Lord God. So, Lord God, we pray, my God, help us, oh, Lord God, to call upon you, Lord God. And I pray, Father God, help us, oh, God, to have a personal, Lord God, relationship, oh, Lord God, with the Holy Spirit, Lord God. Because you're the one, oh, Lord God, that left the comfort, that, the that left the Spirit, Lord God, as a, as a comfort, oh, Lord God. Worship your name, O Lord God. And we pray, my God, for the government body, Lord God. We pray, my God, for our Taoiseach, O Lord God. We pray, my God, that you would send the Holy Spirit there, O Lord God, to give him direction, Lord God, in the next steps to take, O Lord God, in these steps that he's taken, Lord God, to open up this country. Country, Lord God, we pray, my God, that your Holy Spirit will take control, O oh Lord God. We know, Lord God, you're the author, Lord God, and finisher, Lord God, of our faith, O oh Lord God. So we pray, my God, that you will give direction, Lord God, to our Taoiseach, Lord God, to the government body, Lord God. We pray, my God, that you will move, O oh Lord God. And we pray, my God, for the world leaders, O oh Lord God. We pray, my God, with this, Lord God, issue, Lord God, that's happening in the world, O oh Lord God. We know, Lord God, you 
knew this virus, Lord God, was on the way, Lord God, even before we knew it, oh Lord God. So, Lord God, I pray, my God, that you would give, Lord God, the world leaders direction, Lord God, in the next steps to take, oh Lord God. Oh, yada, yada, shiki, yada, 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 shia. Oh, yada, 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 shiki, yada, 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 shia. Oh, yada, 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 shiki, yada, 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 shia. Oh, ko, yada, 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 shia. Oh, yada, 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 shiki, yada, 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 shia. Oh, yada, yada, shiki, yada, yada, shia. Oh, Lord God, we pray, my God, for direction, Lord God. Direction, Lord God, I pray, my God, as we come out of, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, this fire is so, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit direct us, Lord God, in the next steps to take, oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, even as a church, Lord God, as a church body, Lord God, that you would teach you, that you would give us direction, Lord God, that you would direct, Lord God, about the church body, Lord God. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, that's a shiki, yeah, that's a we worship you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. We give you glory, we give you honor, Lord God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship your name, Lord God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Um, the last couple of weeks, I've been having problems sleeping. And eventually, eventually, um, there about, I think it was about five or six o'clock this morning, probably even later, I fell asleep. But I woke up, I woke up after having a dream. And the dream I had was for, uh, was for, um, after, after this, after this virus and after, after all this has happened, that there's going to be, there's going to be a breakthrough. In the in, in the spiritual realms, and it is what I was getting uh, that the thing in my dream was re revival, that there was going to be a revival after this virus, and w when I woke up, when I woke up from the dream, like straight away when I woke up, what what came to me was for the churches to get ready, that God is saying for the church. To get ready after this virus, because there's going to be a, a, a revival. You know that there's going to be a revival. That there's going to be a breakthrough um, in the world. Uh, that revival is going to come after this virus. And so he says for the church, for the churches to get ready, like the churches are, as in as in us, because we are the church, not the building, but us, because we are the church. No, and and what here it says. That what I heard is that we need to be ready for what's going to happen after this virus, you know, because um, th th because there's going to be a revival. So, like, and, and this is why I felt led to be shared on the Holy Spirit, because it's through the Holy Spirit that that we can be prepared, because it's through the Holy Spirit that we can be directed. No, we can't do this without the Holy Spirit. No, that's why it's so important for churches. To have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wasn't just for the, for the disciples. It wasn't just for back then. It's for now. Because Jesus says, when I go, I will leave a comforter with you. you know, which is the Holy Spirit. He says, I will leave that with you. Like, yes, to teach us all things. That's why he said that. He didn't say it was just for the disciples. He's, it's, it's for now. So that's why the church needs to get ready. No, because it's going to be a revival. It's, it's, it's to put aside our differences. It's to put aside our differences. It's not about being Pentecostal. It's not about being Methodist. It's not about being Catholic. And it's not about being like whatever denomination. It's, God doesn't care about denomination. No, He cares. He cares about souls. You know, and it's for the, it's for the church to be ready, because it's, there's going to be. Well, I got from the dream is going to be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit after this virus. No, because God, God like we 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 seen in our church in in us now, like that through this virus, God has done a new thing, especially especially with the churches. No, He's He He's brought us as a church out of our comfort zone. No, we've been taking even personally myself. For me to do live live broadcasts is very unusual for me, and it's out of my comfort zone. Amen. So I believe that God God is God, God has taken the church out of its out of its comfort zone because we were we were getting too comfortable 
in our buildings. No, we're getting too comfortable. So he's, and he says he's going to do a new thing. So we're going to pray. We're, the prayer is uh, that as a church, that we be ready for this new thing that he's going to do. Amen. And and you, you know me, I don't speak like this all the time. But like when I have dreams like that, I feel I feel led to share them. Amen. Amen. So Father God, we come before you, Lord God, as a church, Lord God. For the, all the Christian churches in Ireland, the Lord God, and throughout the world, I pray, O Lord God, that, Lord God, that we will be ready, O Lord, Lord God, for this breakthrough, Lord God, that you're about to make happen, O Lord God. I pray, my God, as, as a church, Lord God, that we will put aside our differences, O Lord God, and, Lord God, that we will focus, O Lord God, on what you want, Lord God, not what we want, Lord God, but what you want, Lord God. And your goal, Lord God, is for lives, Lord God, to be saved, Lord God, because that's the gospel message, Lord God. You said to go in, to go into all the world, Lord God, and preach the gospel, Lord God. And I pray, my God, that our mission as a church, Lord God, that we will go into the world, Lord God, and preach the gospel, Lord God, that we will not be focused, Lord God, in our denomination, Lord God, at haunt upon our beliefs, Lord God, but we will be focused, Lord God, upon, Lord God, what you want done, Lord God. And we pray, my God, Lord God, we pray, my God, for now pouring, Lord God, of your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, the plan, Lord God, that you have, oh, Lord God, after this virus, Lord God. We pray, my God, it will come to pass, Lord God. And we pray, my God, as a church, Lord God, that we will come together, Lord God. And, Lord God, we pray, my God, as a, as a body of Christ, Lord God, for this nation, Lord God, for this world, oh, Lord God, for now pouring, Lord God, of your Holy Spirit, Lord God. We pray, my God, for a revival, Lord God. We pray for a breakthrough, Lord God. We come against, Lord God, every attack, Lord God, every strategy, Lord God, the enemy, Lord God, that's trying to bring, that is trying to bring in deception, Lord God, that's trying to deceive the people, Lord God, that your son does not exist, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit doesn't exist, Lord God. We come against it right now, Lord God. We've come against the lies of the enemy, Lord God, that causes us, oh, Lord God, to be, Lord God, in the comfort zone, Lord God, as a church, Lord God. But, Lord God, I pray, my God, Take us, Lord God, out of our comfort zone, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that through this virus, Lord God, that you have taken, Lord God, the church, Lord God, out of its comfort zone, Lord God, that you have caused the church, Lord God, to do things, Lord God, that it's never done before, Lord God, because you have taken us, Lord God, out of our comfort zone, Lord God. I pray, my God, that when we go back, Lord God, oh, Lord God, to our buildings, Lord God, that we will not, that we will not get stuck back into, Lord God, the normal things, Lord God, but, Lord God, we pray for a breakthrough, Lord God, that we pray for a Revival, Lord God. Oh, you are the Rashia. Oh, you are the Rashiki and the Rashia. Oh, you are the Rashiki and the Rashia. Oh, you are the Rashia. Oh, you are the Rashiki and the Rashia. Magnify your name, O Lord God. We worship you, Lord God. Oh, you are the Rashiki and the Rashia. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I have to. In finish in come to closing, like we have 50, 15 minutes left, amen. And um, there's 10, 10 points I've 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 picked out for prayer points. And the first one is, Father, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to us in Jesus' name, amen. So the first thing I'm going to do is give God thanks, you know that he that he. That he that that he sent a comforter to us, Amen. We're going to give God thanks that He sent a comforter. No, that word comforter. No, the Holy Spirit is our comforter. No, He's there to comfort us. us. When we feel alone, He's there to comfort us. When we feel like that nobody loves us, He's there to comfort us, Amen. Like in times where we have lost loved ones, the Holy Spirit is there to comfort us, Amen. So we're going to give God thanks, Amen. Father, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you send us the Holy Spirit, Lord God, to comfort us, O Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that, Lord God, you, you went out of your way, Lord God. That, Lord God, we are, we are like ants to you, Lord God. But you, you, you love us so much, O Lord God, that you said, Lord God, 
when your son went back to heaven, Lord God, you said that you would send us a comforter, Lord God, to be there for us, Lord God, to be there to help us, Lord God, when we need help, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, because we know, Lord God, without you, Lord God, we would not have the Holy Spirit, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We give you praise, Lord God. We give you honor, Lord God. We give you all the glory, Lord God. For you alone are worthy, Lord God. We give you praise, Lord God. We worship you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And the, sec the second one is, O oh Lord, fill me, fill me afresh with the power of your Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to pray for a fresh filling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. No, because every day we need a fresh filling. We need to be filled afresh every day with the power of the with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We pray, my God, you fill us afresh, O Lord God, with your Holy Spirit, O Lord God. Oh, fill us, O Lord God, from the top of our heads, Lord God, to the tips of our toes with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Give us a new anointing, Lord God, a fresh anointing, O God, an anointing, Lord God, to preach your word, O Lord God, a fresh anointing. Lord God, to speak boldly, Lord God, oh Lord God, of your, of your word, oh Lord God, a fresh anointing, Lord God, oh Lord God, as this, this revival, Lord God, is about to come, Lord God, fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit, oh Lord God, a new anointing, Lord God, a boldness, Lord God, that we will not have fear, Lord God, oh Lord God, to share your word, oh Lord God, that we will not have fear, Lord God, to pray in the Spirit, oh Lord God, oh Lord God, we pray, my God, fill us afresh. Sure, Lord God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Number three. O oh Lord, heal every wounded part of my life. O oh Lord, heal every wounded part of our life through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There's a lot of us that have been wounded. Amen. Like we, we have all been wounded, you know what I mean? Like, we've all been hurt. We have all, like, we, we, we've been hurt by people, you know, we've been hurt by, by, by our loved ones, by our families, you know, like, like, even as a Christian, like, sometimes we can get hurt, amen? You know, because sometimes we can be thinking of the flesh, amen? We, we can be thinking that it's, a, it's, a, it's an attack on us, but it's not an attack on us, it's an attack on, the, on God, amen? So we're going to pray, like as it says there, is that every wound, every wounded part of our life, amen, will be healed, amen. So, Father God, we come before you, Lord God. We pray, my God, for every wound apart from our lives, so, Lord God, to be healed, Lord God. Places, Lord God, that where, where we've been wounded, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we pray, my God, you would heal us, Lord God. Oh, loved ones, Lord God, that have wounded us, Lord God, that has hurt us, Lord God. Help us, oh, Lord God, to forgive, Lord God. Help, Lord God, that wound, Lord God, to be healed, Lord God. That we will not hold on to any unforgiveness, Lord God. Anything that's happened in the past, Lord God, that we will let it go, Lord God. That we will not hold on to it, Lord God. And it's through your Holy Spirit, oh, Lord God, that we can be healed, Lord God. So, Lord God, I pray, my God, heal that wound, oh, Lord God. <clears throat> oh, God, I pray, my God. Oh, God, I pray, my God. <coughs> oh yeah, that is she. 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 Oh, Lord God, wounds, Lord God, where loved ones have hurt us, oh, Lord God, where, where wounds, Lord God, where pastors, Lord God, has hurt us, oh, God, where we've got hurt, Lord God, because of what pastors, Lord God, have done, Lord God. We pray, heal those wounds, Lord God. Amen. Amen. Um, number five. Oh, Lord, we ally my life to set me on the right track by the help of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray that, that if we've been going in the wrong direction, that God will, God will realign our lives. Amen. In the track of the Holy Spirit. You know, that we do what God wants us to do. You know, that we will be led by the Holy Spirit in everything that we do. Amen. Okay, so Father God, we come before you, Lord God. 
We pray, my God, you 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 will rely on our paths, O oh Lord God. Oh, Lord God, you, that your Holy Spirit, Lord God, will direct us, O oh Lord God. That we would do, Lord God, what you want us to do, Lord God. That we would be led by you, Father God. I pray, my God, that, Lord God, we would put, put aside, Lord God, our desires, O oh Lord God, and pick up your desires, O oh Lord God. That we will be led by your spirit, O oh Lord God. If we've been, Lord God, going off track, Lord God, I pray, my God, Pull us back into track with your Holy Spirit, O Lord God. Because we will need to be led by you, Lord God. We will need to be led by your Holy Spirit, O Lord God. In our ministry, Lord God, we, be, we need to be led by the Spirit, Lord God. In our walk with you, Lord God, we need to be led by the Spirit, Lord God. I pray, my God, help us, O Lord God, to put aside, Lord God, our desires, Lord God, and pick up your desires, O Lord God. Because, Lord God, when we do what you, when we do your will, O Lord God, Oh, Lord God, you will have you will have our thoughts, Lord God, in mind, Lord God. Oh, go yada da shia, oh yada da da shiki yada da da shia. Magnify your name, O oh, Lord God. <coughs> Number six, Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Magnify your name, Amen. Amen. Number six, O oh, Lord. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit come afresh upon my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, Father God, we pray, my God, for your Holy Spirit to come afresh upon our lives, so, Lord God. Fill us, Lord God, with your Holy Spirit, Lord God, afresh, oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, this day, oh, Lord God, we pray, my God, that this prayer, my God, we will pray every day, Lord God. Every day in our prayers, Lord God, we will pray, my God, for your Holy Spirit, Lord God, to come afresh upon our lives, oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, this day, Lord God, your Holy Spirit come afresh upon us, Lord God. Fall afresh upon us, Lord Holy Spirit, fall upon us today afresh, O Lord God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Number seven. Amen. O Lord, by the help of your Spirit, let my life ref reflect the life of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is through the Holy Spirit. Amen. That our life can reflect the life of God. Amen. It's only through the Holy Spirit that, that our lives can reflect, that God can be reflected through our lives. Amen. So we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to help us. Oh, Holy Spirit, we come before you and we ask that you will help, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, your life to be reflected through us, oh, Lord God. And it's through the Holy Spirit that this can happen. So, Holy Spirit, we pray, my, that you will help us, Lord. Oh, Lord God, for your life to be reflected through us, oh, God. When people look at us, oh, Lord God, that they will see you, Lord God. That they will not see us, oh, Lord God, but they will see you, Lord God. That they will know, Lord God, that it's you that is speaking, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, because we know, Lord God, that we cannot do this without your Holy Spirit. That we cannot do this without without you, Lord God, that we are powerless without the Holy Spirit. We are powerless without you, Lord God. So we pray, my God, that your life will be shown through us, O Lord God, that when people see us, O God, that when we when we speak, O Lord God, that it's you speaking, Lord God, and it's not us that's speaking, Lord God. So Holy Spirit, teach us, O Lord. Teach us, Holy Spirit. Teach us to speak, Lord God, with the mouth of God, Lord. O Yadarashia, O Yadarashiki Yadarashia, Magnify your name, O Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Num number eight. O Lord, kindle in me the fire of love through the, through the help of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We need the fire of love. Love is very, very important in our walk with God. Amen. It's so important. You know, because like, the reason why it's so important, like with God we love, we can love the unlovable. Amen. You know, with love, true God we love, we forgive. You know, when people hurt us, when people offend us, we forgive very easy because, because, of, because of love. Amen. You know, it's love. It's God's love. That, that put Jesus to the cross, amen? It wasn't the nails that held him on the cross, it was his love for us that held him upon the cross. 
Amen. So we're going to ask God for that same love. You know, that godly love. Amen. The fire of love. It says, O oh Lord, kindle in me the fire of love. Amen. So, Father, Lord God, I pray, my God, that you kindle in us, O oh Lord God, that fire of love, Lord God. You kindle in me personally, Lord God, that fire of love, O oh Lord God. The love, Lord God, that when people do us wrong, Lord God, that we forgive, Lord God, that we hold no grudges, O oh Lord God, because we know, Lord God, that you have forgiven us, O oh Lord God, and, Lord God, that you love us, O oh Lord God, unconsciously, Unconditionally, Lord God, that you love us unconditionally, Lord God. So I pray, my God, that we will love people, Lord God, unconditionally, Lord God. That there won't be no, Lord God, reasons why we love people, Lord God. But we love them, Lord God, simply, Lord God, because you love them, Lord God. So I pray, my God, you help us, Lord God. Well, kindle, Lord God, that fire of love, oh Lord God. That love, Lord God, that will cause us, Lord God, to pray, my God, for those, Lord God, that are in sin, Lord God. That love, Lord God, that will cause us, Lord God, to pray, my God, for the unlovable, Lord God. To forgive, Lord God, the unlovable, Lord God. Because, Lord God, simply because, Lord God, you love them, Lord God. You send your son to the cross, Lord God, to die for them, Lord God. You send your son to the cross, Lord God, to die for the sinner, Lord God. You said, Father, Lord God, forgive them, Lord God, for they know not what they do, Lord God. So I pray, my God, you help us, Lord God, to, to forgive them, Lord God, because they know not what they do, Lord God. Because, Lord God, it's not us, Lord God, that are prosecuting, Lord God, but it's you, Lord God, that are prosecuting, Lord God. So I pray, my God, that you will forgive, Lord God that you will help us, Lord God, to forgive, Lord God, that we will hold, Lord God, no wrong against anybody, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we pray, my God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number number eight, or sorry, number nine, is, Sweet Holy Spirit, I want to be connected to, to you forever. Amen. In Jesus' name. No, we're going to pray that we will be connected to the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. You know, because we need it to be connected to the Holy Spirit forever. So, Father God, I pray, my God, that you will help us, O Lord God, to be always, Lord God, connected to the Holy Spirit, Lord God, and that the Holy Spirit, Lord, will be always connected to us, O Lord God, that we will always, Lord God, to be praying in the Spirit, O Lord God, O Lord God, speaking, Lord God, in heavenly language, Lord God, in the gift of tongues, Lord God, you have given us, O Lord God. O Lord God, we pray, my God, that we will always be connected, Lord God. O Koyarashia, no yada da shiki yada da da shia o ko yada da da shiki yada da da shia o yada da da shiki yada da da shia no yada da da shiki yada da da shia o ko yada da da shia we need your holy spirit lord god we cannot do anything without your holy spirit we need your holy spirit in our lives oh lord god holy spirit we need you in our lives look every day holy spirit holy spirit every day we need you in our lives holy spirit we pray that you will be with us every day in our walk with God that you will be with us every day Lord comfort us every day where we need comfort you will be with us there comfort in us every day in Jesus name we have prayed amen amen the final prayer which is number 10 is dear dear Holy Spirit enrich me with your gifts in Jesus name amen we're going to pray for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We all, we, we all know the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're going to pray that he will fill us with those gifts. That we will be enriched in those gifts. You know. That we will be filled with the gifts of healing. Amen. The gift of love. Compassion. You know. Righteousness. Amen. So Father God we come before you Lord God. We pray, my God, you will fill us, O oh Lord God, with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord God. That we be we will be enriched in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, Lord. Oh, 
Oh, Father God, give us the gift of healing, Lord God. The gift of healing, Lord God, I pray, my God. Pour out the gifts of the Holy Spirit upon us, O oh Lord God, I pray, my God. O oh Lord God, fill us with love, Lord God. Fill us with forgiveness, Lord God. Gentleness, Lord God. Kindness, O oh Lord God. Oh, da, 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 all the fruits, O oh Lord God, of the Holy Spirit, O Lord God, will be upon us, O oh Lord God. Oh, da, 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 in Jesus name we have prayed amen just amen just before I finish when it's going to pray for 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 healing I healing for those that are sick no matter what this sickness is amen look whether it's the coronavirus whether it's um, cancer you know AIDS whatever the sickness is uh, any of our loved ones that we know that are sick you no, know, right now is the time to pray for them. Amen. So, Father God, we come before you, Lord God. We lift up, O oh Lord God, those that are sick, O oh Lord God. We pray, my God, that you will heal them, Lord God. Those that are sick in hospital, Lord God, I pray that you will heal them, Lord God. O oh Lord God, those that have the coronavirus, Lord God, I pray, heal them, Lord God. Those that have, Lord God, cancer, Lord God, I pray for healing, Lord God. Those that have AIDS, O oh Lord God, heal them, Lord God. O oh, those who have hepatitis, Lord God, heal them, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, those, oh, Lord God, oh, Lord God, all the diseases, Lord God, you know what they are, Lord God, whatever they are, Lord God, I pray, my God, that you will bring healing, Lord God. Oh, God, those are diabetic, Lord God, type 1, that be this, Lord God, type 2, type 3, Lord God, I pray, my God, that you will heal them, Lord God. Those, oh, God, that are suicidal, Lord God, I pray, heal them, Lord God. Those that suffer from depression, Lord God, I pray, heal them, Lord God. Those that, Lord God, are in mental hospitals, Lord God, I pray, heal them, Lord God. There is nothing, Lord God, impossible for you to do, Lord God. But I pray, my God, that you will heal them, Lord God. Deliver them, Lord God. Set them free, Lord God. I pray, my God, this evening, Lord God. For our loved ones, Lord God, that are sick, Lord God. I pray, heal them, Lord God. Set them free, Lord God. Deliver them, Lord God. Whatever your sickness is, Lord God, for each individual, Lord God, of their loved ones, Lord God. I pray, heal them, Lord God. Oh, for our aunties, oh God, our uncles, oh Lord God, our nieces, nephews, oh God, cousins, oh God, our in-laws, oh God, our mother-in-laws, oh God, our father-in-laws, our brothers-in-laws, and our sisters-in-laws, oh God, I pray, heal them, oh God, oh Lord God, whatever your sickness is, oh God, deliver them, oh God, and I pray, my God, you meet every need, oh God, oh financial need, oh God, spiritual need, oh God, I pray will be met, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to thank everybody for joining us this Monday night, prayer night. Amen. I want to thank everybody that's connected through Facebook, through Messenger, um, through um, um, WhatsApp, you know, and through... Um, like through all the social media devices, you know, everybody that's connected, I want to thank you for joining us, amen. And I want to thank all the, thank the apostles, thank, thank the, uh, the pastors and the evangelists and the ministers, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. No problem. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.